one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. And comments this podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, sport events, and much, much more. Um, today I'm going to react to a video. Peter Ducey calls out hypocrisy um, over the Biden administration. And Corinne, I think Jean-Pierre basically does what she does best, either lies or can't answer the question. Before we do that, though, let's get into a video by Dizzle Brand. That was Dizzle, one of the new videos we had made up. Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur, a mixture of agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Throw your Dizzle on ice, and it's nice. As you see, they got the new blue label on the Dizzle. Um, I definitely like that mixing cup that they had in the video. I got to get one for myself. But you can order, right now, you're going to order your very own bottle of bottles of Dizzle Premium Luxury Liqueur. Just go to uh, dizzlebrand.com, click on our locations, click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. Must be 21 over. Shipping and handling is included. Below that is locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. Little Rock. Here we come. All right, let's get into it. Peter Ducey, Corinne Jean-Pierre, and the hypocrisy of the Biden administration. See what nonsense is in store for today. Why is the Biden administration building a border wall in Arizona? So, Go figure. Um, we are not. Uh, we are not finishing Duh. the wall. Uh, Duh. We are cleaning up the mess the prior administration oh, uh, oh, left that's behind it. in their in their failed attempt uh, oh. to build a wall. Let's pump the brakes. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, first of all. It wasn't a failed attempt. Uh, they Trump started, and when Biden got in, he shut it down and stopped it. It wasn't. It was only a failed attempt because, um, basically, he didn't have enough time to finish. And as soon as Biden got in office, um, he pretty much said, uh, "No, shut it down. Stop. No more." So it wasn't a failed attempt, as in a like, you know. Trump tried to do it and he he failed to succeed. He just didn't have a time to finish, basically. And I just want to be very very clear here on day. Lies. A few moments later. But President Biden, when he was a candidate, said there will not be another foot of wall constructed in my administration. Wow. So Go we figure. Are not finishing the wall. We're not finishing a wall. If walls work in that part of Arizona, is this the administration trying to get migrants to cross somewhere else, like in Texas? What What is the plan? Exactly. We're not finishing a wall. We're not we are finishing a wall. The mess that the prior administration. Liar, liar, pants on fire. To save lives. This is liar, what, liar, is, pants on fire. This is what the prior administration left behind. That liar, liar, pants on fire. You're so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. By finishing the wall, is this? We are not finishing the wall. By filling in, finishing? Fill in. By. <laughs> That's what they do. They always try to, you know, like change the definition or move the goalposts further, you know. Uh, okay, you might not be finishing the whole wall, but you're finishing the wall in 
Arizona. The filling in. Uh, is this is this racist? Because in 2019, when um, you know what? I'm totally convinced that the job duties of the press secretary is to be a professional liar. At least, I mean, this chick is way worse than Jen Psaki. I mean, even Jen Psaki was lying a lot, but like Jen Psaki at least had some spine, some backbone. I don't believe a word that comes out of this chick's mouth. They're like, even when she doesn't work this job anymore, I will never believe a single word that comes out of Corinne Jean-Pierre's mouth. Not one. Not one. You know, Peter Ducey is the only dude I see that's asking all the right questions. He's asking all the questions that nobody else would ask. Everybody else apparently doesn't have the balls to ask or no nuts to ask. Peter Ducey has got to be my favorite reporter right now. I mean, he's the only one in this I see in these White House press sec secretary meetings. Now, there was – actually, let me take that back. There was that black dude that was asking some questions, and I don't think he was an American um, reporter, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was an African reporter, and he was pushing back on Corinne Jean-Pierre. And that's the thing, like – you know, when things don't fit in her narrative, all she does is play dumb, lie, or get her panties all in a bunch. You know, and you know, it's a damn shame. If I'm not mistaken, she's a lesbian. What a waste of a, a cute woman. What a waste of a beautiful woman. Complete waste. <laughs> um, once again, thank you for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast. And I'm out.